Convection occurs when a fluid such as air or a liquid is heated and then travels away from the source of heat, carrying thermal energy. Molecules expand with the introduction of thermal energy. As temperature of the given fluid mass increases, the volume of the fluid mass increases by same factor. This effect on the fluid causes displacement. When you want to have a cup of tea on a cold morning and you want to use the kettle to boil water, convection occurs. When the kettle is turned on, the heating element warms up and heats the water around it. The heated water expands and becomes less dense than the cold water above. The heated water therefore rises up the kettle. As the heated water rises, it displaces the cold water. The colder, denser water falls to the bottom where it is then warmed by the heating element. This creates circular movements known as convection currents. These are flowing fluid that is moving because there is a temperature or density difference within the material. The convection currents continue to circulate, transferring heat energy to all parts of the kettle. The water gets a bit hotter each time it circulates. Eventually, all the water in the kettle reaches boiling point and it is ready to make a cup of tea. A similar example of boiling water for your cup of tea is boiling of water for your macaroni salad. When you put the stainless pot filled with water on the stove, it heats the water from the bottom. The molecules near the bottom gain kinetic energy and become less dense. Since the hot water at the bottom is less dense than the cold water above it, the hot water starts rising to the surface while the cold water sinks. The cold water at the bottom then gets hot and less dense than the water above it, so it rises to the surface. When the water is already boiling, you can now add the macaroni and wait until it is already cooked. Convection also occurs in the refrigerator. Freezer compartments are put on top because cool air sinks so it cools the food on the way down. It is warmer at the bottom so this warmer air rises and a convection current is set up. Another example where convection occurs is when you go on the seaside which is very windy. Hot air is lighter than cold air so it rises up into the sky. The cold air sees this and rushes down underneath the hot air to replace it. This movement of cold air replacing hot air is the wind. This is the reason why you feel the breeze in your hair when walking by the seaside. The cold air from the sea replaces the hot air rising on land. 